This food bank in Leighton Buzzard was set up as an emergency response to the pandemic, but demand for their services has escalated as the cost of living crisis deepens. People are really suffering in work poverty, not just people on benefits. Um, our elderly are suffering. I deliver the food parcels on a regular basis. I see these people on the doorsteps. I see their despair and their worry. So um, I, I dread to think what this next year is going to bring us, I really do. First, we will help families with the cost of living. June also watched the Chancellor's statement hoping for help. It has been a Conservative mission to promote tax cuts for working people and simplify the system. Raising the threshold for national insurance contributions welcome, but again, only just. Obviously, any um, help is gratefully received, but I think that this government are completely out of touch with the ordinary struggles of people up and down this country. Do you, do you feel like um, there are other things that could have, done, could have been done that would have made a difference? Absolutely. You've only got to look across the water at France to see that they've capped their energy prices at 4%. Um, and we had the opportunity to do the same. Um, and I, I think it's a missed opportunity. This is our daily workout. <laughs> June packs the van ready for a delivery. Each parcel contains essential food items for people who can no longer afford the basics. Hi, June. Hi, Lee. How are you? I'm good, you? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. Like Lee, a recovering alcoholic who has struggled to find work. Things have been really, really tough. You know, universal credit is not enough to, to, to get you by each month. Um, you know, and, and this, is, this is the reason why I say that I survive on, on the food bank, because I have no money left over. So, you know, it's a tough, tough situation for, for everybody. At this food bank, they expect the cost of living crisis to get worse, much worse, and for more demand on their services. Graeme Satchel, BBC News.